All right, here with another C64 Maxi video. Got a lot of questions about uh, whether you could get a mouse to work with the uh, the new C64 Maxi and also the RAM expansion unit, the REU. Uh, if you're just looking for those answers, I won't make you sit through the whole video to find out. Yes, it does. Both of them work. And you can get those to work interchangeably. Pretty easy. So uh, if that's all you came for, I guess you could stop watching at this point. But if you want to see how it's done, let's let's go and uh, deep dive into that. So first off, I've got several images, disk images of Geos. Now I say Geos, some people say Geos or Geos or Geos. So however you say it, uh, you know, that's good. So anyway, that's how I say it. So we're we're gonna go with this one. This uh, this version has got several tags on it. If you look down at the file name, the machine is uh, 64 only, and then also the uh, the drive mechanism. I've got that for compatibility reasons. So I put those tags in there. That little underscore after the file name, but before the extension is where you would put that in. And you, there's a bunch of them. If you look at the user manual, which is online, it lists out all of those. And this is how you turn stuff on and off uh, have the mouse come up in certain ports, you know, in the port one or two, uh, and so on. So let's uh, let's dive into that. I'm gonna launch this one, and just like a normal 64, this takes a while to load. So be patient. It sits at this screen for a while. So if you get this and you think it's not working, go get a cup of coffee and come back. I'm gonna edit out some of this so you don't have to wait through the whole thing. All right, here we are. So I've got just a regular old Microsoft laser mouse and look at that, it works. Now let's go into here, uh, the configure screen. Now this is where I want to show um, the REU portion. So you'll, you'll notice down on this side where it says uh, RAM expansion none. So that's the that's the part I wanted to 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 make a point of here. So let's uh, let's exit out of that. We'll boot the other image now. Now this image, uh, this floppy disk image. Let me zoom in a little bit. If you look uh, on this line right here, where it says disk drive, you see the tags that I've got there, but the one to note is the R5 tag, and that's uh, the the REU. And if you do five, that's 512 uh, uh, mega memory, or no, excuse me, 512K of memory. I forgot what, what decade I'm in there. 512K. Now, it also has uh, the lower settings, too. I, I forget what the other ones are. 16, and I think 2. So, you can expand it uh, to e in any of those three uh, variations. So, on this tag, we're going to go ahead and then do the 512. All right, that screen. And this screen seems to stay up forever. So, again, if yours doesn't seem to be working, but you can get to this screen... Let it sit there for a long time and then come back to it. And you might be surprised uh, that it comes back up. All right. So now... Oh, there it is. Took a minute for the mouse to appear. Let's go back into configure. And look over here now, you actually see the RAM expansion, the 512K. Uh, and you can check off, you know, various options that you might want. But anyway, the 512K, it just kind of gives you an indicator that it's it does see it and it's able to use it. So to answer those two questions that came up in the other video, yes, it does work with an REU. And yes, it does work with a mouse. So... Uh, yeah, just any old USB mouse. Now, oh, one more thing I would point out is when I first plugged it in, it didn't work. And 
it still just worked with the joystick. So you have to go into the setting and change it, uh, the input from joystick to, uh, to mouse. All right, the input is located up here at the top. Click the Geos, select input. And the first time you do this, if it's not working, it's going to be on joysticks. So you'll have to actually use a joystick to maneuver over to it or use the key combinations to get over to it and change it from joystick to 1351. And then it starts working. So, yep, that's all I got with this video. Uh, if you're a Geos fan, this, this might come as good news to you. Till next time.